All right. I mean, I guess we could talk about this now um, before making any videos because obviously I have some twice videos that do some really good numbers. The fans are really there. But uh, everyone's talking about this specific situation. I think it's kind of blown out of proportion, if you will. Um, everybody knows what I'm talking about. The Twice fandom knows what I'm talking about. Pretty much anyone who's ever reacted to anything Twice or is related to Twice knows what is going on. And I think it's along the lines of a big misunderstanding and on top of that, ignorance, if you will. Um, I don't think there's innocent people in this party. However, I will start off by saying that Che Young, um, I think is honestly innocent pretty much in this situation i honestly i i'm going to be real with you not to insult intelligence okay i'm going to be real with you i don't think they quite understand if you will the way things are taught over here in the western world and maybe western europe are completely different to how people are raised over in eastern europe east asia all that kind of stuff very different historical um connotations is that a real word is that a real way of using that i know i'm first off excuse me for my neck it's huge i shaved my chin has gone now for some reason that's weird i didn't mean for it to happen it just kind of happened and i had to do the whole time i apologize it'll be back within like two days all right i look weird i feel weird i feel like a salamander i don't like it it is what it is let's get right into this video because i already know what it is so let's get it big small K-pop star Chaeyoung apologizes for wearing shirt with Swast uh, logo on it. I don't know if I'm allowed to even say that on YouTube. That's how touchy the subject really is. I don't really give a f It's history. It happened. Uh, let's just not have it repeat itself, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's the way I grew up about things, uh, learning about things. Uh, history happens for a reason. Don't let it repeat. Unless it's like a revolution. F call them tyrants and everything like that. The government. F call the rich people the 1% that make, you know, life uneasy for the rest of us folk here. Uh, maybe mine's a little bit of an easier life than most people is because i've honestly been blessed and uh invest my money and do all the i, I move money in a smart way I, I stay afloat um however not a lot of people have that opportunity to do what i do and on top of that i make youtube videos too thank you guys it's awesome but i, I still feel like i'm a part of everybody else because um none of us can afford housing none of us can go to the grocery store and actually get good nutritious food I don't know how I got off on this tangent, but you guys know I'm talking about the struggle, the daily lives, worse off for some people in the United States, uh, better off for others, uh, this, that, and the other thing. I don't really blame anybody except for the 1%, the elites, and the people that run the country. Um, they're the ones holding everybody back. Che Young, a member of the globally successful K-pop group Twice, has apologized for wearing a shirt featuring a swastika. Now, one, uh, I will say this thing. I know these girls um have designers that wear clothing and i know they twice was hit with a a, a thing before this with the QAnon uh shirt uh the QAnon group um has been associated with radically left and radically right uh, alt-right groups on reddit and the internet uh, radically left groups with domestic terrorism and stuff like that uh QAnon uh they're supposed to be anonymous or some stuff i don't really quite know i don't really dig that deep into the internet once i see a group like that pop up i'm like all right uh disassociating myself with that it's a little weird uh i'm not gonna associate myself with some weird crazy mother because i do believe that we should all come together and overthrow our government uh just like they're doing in france right come together the rest and then we can all live our best right that's the way i want to live my life but other than that uh that's a very unhappy place to live right now but i'm having a great time here you know what I'm saying? I'm here for a good time, not a long time, right? But I want that good time for the next generation, even if I don't have kids. Um, I keep going off on that tangent, bro. I got stuff on my mind. I just want to talk about Talk about the music scene. Flatly. Stay focused, right? All right, Che Young, a member of the Global Skills of K-pop group, twice as apologized for wearing a t-shirt featuring a, a sw I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. A 23-year-old post. She's only 23? Damn. Posted a photo of herself wearing the shirt on Instagram, but quickly deleted after backlash from fans. The shirt featured an image of Sid Vicious. Basis of the Sex Pistols wearing the logo. Now listen, the Sex Pistols, okay, are kind of iconic in America and in, in punk rock scene. They're they're known to do things just for the sake of shock value, almost like Marilyn Manson in a way. Uh, almost every rock star band in America or the UK in a way has done something of shock value. The Ozzy Osbournes, uh, maybe not so much Metallica, but that that kind of group, the scene group, kind of like how um, the rock star scene shifted to the jackass scene, if you will, nowadays. Like Steve would do the craziest things for shock value back in his prime when he first started out. Like that kind of narrative, you know what I'm saying? So I don't really think it was meant 
for the sole purpose of racism. Uh, it was more of the shock value, more like, golf, what are you going to do about it kind of thing. Or maybe it was to make a mockery of it. But I can't really say at the end of the day, it's still uh, a logo of hate. And uh, I just can't stand behind an image like that. Now, do I blame Chai Young? I don't. I really don't. I don't think she meant anything by it. I think she just wore a pop culturally referenced shirt. Um, uh, ironically, runs along. Um, there's a line of it in America. There is a subculture group in America. Uh, some of them are politicians, if you will. Um, some of them are wolves in sheep's clothing. They're your best friends, and they'll, they're just like this. They, they might even be the people that say they're against this kind of stuff, that are truly at heart believe in this thing. Um, and they're not even the same faces. They're, they're all of different races that all support these kind of ideologies in America. I mean, it's very prevalent. I mean, we, it's very prevalent in Ukraine, in Eastern Europe, very prevalent uh, sometimes in Europe, too. Like, those people do exist out there. And I believe that's what the uh, the Sex Pistols were going for, that kind of imagery back in the day and still to this day. Um, it is what it is. But I believe it was a shirt. The designer was very ignorant the way he dressing Che Young. And I think Che Young was just ignorant enough or blissfully unaware, uh, if you will. Now, this is the second time they said blissfully unaware that this it was that big of a deal. Um, probably something they didn't really think about. They don't think about that that much. Over there, I, I'm 100% certain they don't really think about it that much. I mean, where they're from, um, in Korea, how often are you going to see a person that looks like me, right? How often are you going to see a person that's African-American or black, if you will? I don't really think there's many African-Americans in America anymore. I think that's just like a title they slap on to people. Like, I would be European-American. Uh, the only person that's been from Europe is my birth father. I think my mother came from Europe, too. I'm just straight up half and half Irish and Russian, so... A European, if call me European, just call me white. I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm American, right? But I don't think I don't think there's many of us. You know what I mean? Like Americans, all all different races, colors, genders, whatnot. In Korea, where where they're from, right? It's pretty much kind of one group of people, kind of like Japan and China. I'm pretty sure there are people, but very far few. You know what I mean? So different different cultures. So I just think it literally boils down to ignorance. But then we got people like saying, like this person right here, I'm tired of K-pop fans because why am I seeing people trying to cover up the fact that Che Young posted a photo of herself wearing a t-shirt with the on it today? It's not that big a deal. If you're going to ask me, do I think Twice is full of racist people? I'm going to say no. They don't even look like they could hurt a fly. I'm going to be real with you. Even if they are, just stop supporting them. It is what it is. I, I don't see any real evidence here that... They're racist. Maybe they are, but I wouldn't know them. I don't know them on a personal level. Everything that I've seen professionally from them points away from that. I think it's been blown out of proportion. I'm going to be real with you, right? I mean, if they are, it's simple. We just stop supporting them, stop listening to their music, right? We can berate them online, but that really doesn't do anything. We've seen that happen again and again. Cancel culture doesn't really work other than taking away a revenue stream. And then five years down the line, they're still back up on their, their grind. So it doesn't really work anyways. This is not the first time a K-pop artist has been involved with a... In 2018, members of BTS were pictured wearing a hat and a t-shirt featuring an eagle logos. In 2021, a member of G-Friend was photographed hugging a uh, Nazi mannequin while a member of Purple Kiss was pictured wearing a, a military themed photo shoot. I'm going to be real here, guys. Like I said, different cultures over there it could could be taught differently, right? It could be taught very differently. Here in America, it's so ingrained in us, right? If I see someone wearing a logo like that, it's just instant hatred, bro. Instant hatred for me. Like I'm gonna like I'm I'm gonna be some ass, right? Fuck out of here with all that weird shit, right? That's just stupid. I, I don't, I'm not really about that life, right? Some friends joke about it. It's fine to joke about it, right? What's what's history if you can't laugh at it? If we can't laugh at certain things, and there's just no point in living in this world because it's going to be depressing all the time. But for someone to actively be supporting that, it's, that's the issue with me. And that's how it is with the majority of Americans. Like we can make fun of uh, the um, AH all we want. We even make mockeries of it, right? Everybody comes together, makes fun of Germany, 1943, 1942, right? But at the end of the day... Nah, bro. We all know it's wrong. 
We all know it's wrong. And I think, honestly, what it is, is a publicity stunt. I don't think they quite know, right? This is the first time I'm hearing of BTS being pictured with it, G-Friend being pictured with it, Purple Kiss being pictured with it. It's the first time I'm hearing of this. Obviously, it's a repeating pattern. Do I think those people themselves are responsible for it? No, I think it's the industry trying to get a headline. I really do. We see this happen all the time, right? We, we Even some bands have done that here in the U.S. What's the guy's name? Uh, Motorhead, right? They do, do did that all the time. Just to drum up controversy. I think that's all this is, is a play. However, you cannot deny that this is a repeating theme. And I don't think we should stand for this repeating theme. Because if they are racist, we're basically saying it's okay to be racist. It's okay to keep doing this. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. It will give them more attention, more attention, more attention, right? So in a way, I guess I'm contradicting myself by even making this video. But no, I don't think Che Young herself is racist. I don't think twice the group is racist. I think it's the stylist and their ignorance. Sure, at the end of the day, you can believe, hey, they put the shirt on. Da da da. I don't think they're that smart. I'm gonna be real. I don't think they have that much self awareness to not wear those kinds of things. Most of these stars, they grow up, they take them in at six, seven, eight, nine years old, and all they know is just music, 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 music into these groups and everything like that. I don't think there's much in the way for world history. Moving on. Just pointed out that G put twice the size, put Young in a QA on shirt. If you're going to ramp up promotions in the US, get the US label to check how you're styling idols. Not styling anyone in Neo conspiracy cult merch would be a great start. Yeah, that's the thing I'm uh talking about here with the extremist groups and stuff like that. I just don't think they have any idea. Twice, which consists of nine members. Oh, was Ezekiel Elliott. Jeez, damn. You gotta chill out with that. Twitch, which consists of nine members, has enjoyed crossover success outside South Korea since their debut in 2015, with four of their albums reaching the U.S. Top 10. Chaeyoung apologized for the instance. I deeply apologize for not thoroughly reviewing it, causing concern. I will pay absolute attention in the future to prevent any situation similar from happening again. That's all we can ask for, right? That's all we can ask for. I, I, my, my brain wants to run her through the mud. Let me, let me get out of this. My brain legitimately just wants to run them through the mud because that seems like the easiest thing to do. That's, it's the easiest target to do. And I'll feel good about it, right? But at the same time, I really, just logically speaking, I really don't think there's anything by it. I'm going to be real. Uh, I would love to debate this with you guys. I would love to see other people's opinions on this. I've only seen like three opinions. Everyone that I've talked to said they don't think it's really that big a deal. Uh, some people, it's close to home. They think it's the biggest deal. Um... All I know, I really don't think they're racist. All I know is I think it just happened. It just happened. The stylist is dumb as hell, is what I want to blame. Stylist is stupid. Uh, Che Young had no idea. Um, even at the end of the day, if they did know, then that's on them. They're racist AF, right? Let me know what you guys think. I don't think they're racist. I think it's just all blown up. But I'll see you all in the next one. No video today, I apologize. But I just really wanted to talk on this. Pretty much just ramble the whole time. I'm out of here. <laughs>